not boop. That's the boop. Okay. So in the dashboard, so I am now in the dashboard. So if I wanted to set this up, I would create a new application. Yeah. So the client side will be an application. So you would, you would click create application. All right. So create application. And, gonna... and it'll ask you for a name and the type of application it is. So you could put in habit tracker client or something. Uh -huh and hit single page app cool and then hit create and then hit create boom so i got a client id and a quick yep. start yep so if you just click on so it'll it'll let you look at the quick start straight from there or you can click on the settings tab there ah look at this there we go yeah, so that lets you just like get up and running with the React Quick Start right away. And then um, inside of the client, you would configure. There, there are a few things you would configure. We don't necessarily need to do that right now since we've already got it set up. But right. basically, we need to wire up that localhost 3000 for our client. We just have to set up the app to be able to um, recognize it so we have to set up like our callback urls and logout urls got and things it. like that and so it. if you yeah so that's all in the react quick start um and it's it's pretty straightforward it's yeah. just a couple of just a couple of fields you got to fill where out where do you want them to go so, when they log out right and like you know where, yeah. where should they go after login what's the url where you're going to capture that information and then um, is that, and then like the, just the, the login URI, like where they're actually going to be logging in from. And I would imagine that this info is just used for security purposes to make sure that it's going to the right place and everything is. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You're, you're telling Auth0 like where to expect it to be receiving requests for tokens from Got basically. It. So in our case, because we're using Create React app, You're... We're, it's running on localhost 3000. And so we're just telling it, hey, only only accept requests from localhost 3000. So if we were to run it on a different port, it would reject the request for the token Got and it. we'd have to change it. Okay. So so that's the client side. And then if cool. you go, if you click back to applications, mm -hmm. um, actually, no, don't click that. Click on the APIs on the left. There's an APIs yep. like icon. Yeah. So we would do the same thing. Create click API. on the API. We do create API, and you would give it a name, and then the identifier. Uh, it's it's a URL format, but it doesn't have to be a real URL. It can be like whatever you want to call it. Okay. It's just in the HTTP format. So for the um, name is in this format. Yeah, you know, the name is just a regular. Just call it whatever you want. Oh, like got Habit it. Tracker API, and then the the identifier ah. which gets used as the audience leader is like http slash my api or whatever you want to call it i got it that's interesting okay all right so i've got that and i've got my signing algorithm set so i'm good to go right yeah you can leave the signing algorithm as the default yeah, for yeah. that boom now i got an api yeah and so, Sweet. and that's like bas basically it. There's a lot of other settings you can customize, but just right. for getting up and running, like that's all you have to do. And so now we have uh, an API and a client and uh, we'll just configure the applications to use them. Yeah, and so this is kind of where we're gonna pick up now, like on the code side, because now we just need to right. say, hey, server and client use these, these different, um, uh, APIs from Auth0 and we'll be all authenticated and everything will be sweet.